All right. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for coming to this lightning talk. Uh, my name is Haley Babb, and I'm the Open Education Project Manager for Spark. Um, and as part of my role, I help to manage the day to day operations of Spark's Open Education Leadership Program. So, if you're not familiar with the program, what it is is an intensive professional development program designed to empower academic professionals with the knowledge, skills, and connections that they need to lead successful open education initiatives that benefit students. Our two semester program blends online, peer to peer and project based learning in order to build a comprehensive understanding of the open education field, coupled with the practical know how on how to take action on campus and beyond. The program was launched in 2017 and last summer we graduated our fifth cohort officially marking 100 alumni from the program. Each cohort is unique and always ends up becoming a vibrant community of practice. As part of the program, each fellow publishes an open community resource as part of their capstone portfolio. All of the capstones of our 2021-2022 cohort um, that we'll hear more from in just a moment here, as well as all previous cohorts of the program are available on our website, which is linked in the description of this lightning talk and that um, I will also pop a link to in the chat if you're watching this live. So in this talk, we're gonna take a closer look at that 2021, 2022 cohort specifically, and hear from a few of the graduates of the program today about what their time in the program was like and what leadership lessons they've taken away with them uh, as they move on from the program. Uh, so today I have four alumni from our most recent cohort here to talk a little bit about their experience in the program and to answer the following question. What is one thing that you've learned about your own leadership style throughout the program? So without further ado, I would like to introduce Amy Blau, Scholarly Communications Librarian at Whitman College, Beatrice Canales, Academic Unit Assistant at San Antonio College, Courtney Eager, Learning and Engagement at Librarian at Temple University Health Science Libraries, and Rachel Becker, the Copy and Open Educational Resources Librarian at Madison Area Technical College. So without further ado, let's hear from the alumni directly. Hi, I'm Amy Blau. I'm Scholarly Communications Librarian at Whitman College. And um, my capstone project for the SPARC uh, Open Education Leadership Program was called Homework Systems and OER, Finding and Evaluating Homework Systems to Use with Open Textbooks. So thinking about ways to help faculty move to open textbooks um, even in situations where they um, have been using commercial homework programs and want to continue using homework programs to support uh, student learning. So in terms of a leadership lesson or things I learned about leadership from the program, we had various conversations about leadership in the program. And in one of them, I had said something about how I never felt that I was sort of the person who was out in front and motivating and kind of steering things um, in a sort of what I think of as a traditional leadership role or um, understanding. And Nicole Allen had said that um, the way that she thinks of leadership is making the change in the world that you wanna see, right? That, that is leadership is making the change. And that really helped me to frame the work that I do as leadership. So what I'm doing is often, you know, identifying problems, um, laying groundwork for solutions in a very collaborative way, um, not necessarily being the, the main person who is steering something, but really kind of doing a lot of the sometimes grunt work, sometimes organizational work, sometimes motivational work, and seeing that as a kind of leadership and an important kind of leadership, I think was a real, um, a really helpful um, lesson from the program. Hi, my name is Beatrice Canales, and I am an academic unit assistant at San Antonio College in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, my capstone was uh, about um, how to include students in marketable skills work uh, while they created uh, and um, resources for faculty to adopt into their curriculum. And it was successful. I, I learned a lot. The student learned a lot. The student received experiential credit uh, where she could add it to her portfolio and for her uh, CV. 
uh, it was a renewable assignment. So the faculty member is able to use it uh, for hopefully years to come. And uh, it is uh, something that uh, add me onto the campus map. Uh, they uh, added me as a PI for a grant uh, for uh, a textbook adoption. So hopefully maybe that will come through. But in addition, I was able to be nominated into for an award with the Open Education Global um, Awards. So for support specialist, so that's that's exciting. But more importantly, I think um, I would I was able to um, receive an education uh, through licensing with Creative Commons. But I needed the skills level um, in leadership to um, manage the different kinds of personnel that I would be encountering here at SAC to talk about my project and to, um, and to advocate for the open education um, or the open community in general. Hi, I'm Courtney Eager. I'm the Learning and Engagement Librarian at Temple University's Health Sciences Libraries in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. My Spark Capstone project was all about marketing open pedagogy to a medical school. And one piece of advice or one thing I learned about my leadership style during this program is to kind of scale down. At first I had a lot of a lot of goals, a lot of big goals, and I realized that it's okay to start small and to do things in small pieces and really to make your goals manageable and measurable um, and clear. And it's okay to work on it in pieces because eventually the pieces will all come together. Um, and I take that approach in other aspects of my work and professional life. And now I can lead projects more successfully. Hi, my name is Rachel Becker and I am the Copyright and Open Educational Resources Librarian at Madison Area Technical College in Madison, Wisconsin. I completed the capstone project this spring and it was a module course developed in uh, Canvas that had allowed people who are new to OER to walk through, learn about OER, how to develop it, and why it's important. It had a strong focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion, which I think is one of the highlights of OER. Um, what I learned about my own leadership style during the program was you can't do it all alone. Uh, you can't do everything all alone, that you need other people. Um, during the program, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and it was a really hard thing to get through. Um, but thanks to all the people in my program, my fellow uh, graduates from Spark, as well as the instructors, I was able to complete it. Um, and it was just a, a very meaningful experience for me, but it taught me to slow down, um, talk to others, and really develop a community around it who can support you then later, which I think is the biggest thing that I got out of the SPARK program. So thank you so much for watching everyone. And I wanted to say a special thank you to our alumni for being willing to share their time and experiences with us today. For more information about the program, uh, you can check out our website at www.sparkopen.org slash our work slash open education leadership program. Uh, again, thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the open education conference. Thank you.